I don't know why. I like to think different from normal people a lot, normally. But every time when I talk about my thinking, many people always say, you're wrong, you're crazy. How can you think like that? At the beginning, it made me feel sad, feel very ashamed, feel very low self-esteem. But I can't help. I have to do something different because I believe in a way. For example, to be a farmer. Everybody do a, a chemical farming. I'm the first person in the village who want to do organic farming. The whole village said, you're crazy. We use a lot of chemical. We still have less yield. How can you grow with no chemical? Even government officials in the province came to me and said the same thing. But after I did one year, the next year, 30 people follow me. That made me think, oh, it's quite fun to be different. And then after that, I start to build earthen house. I'm the first person who built earthen house in Thailand. Many people in the village came every day to see me, and they laugh at me and joking around my mud pit. And they said, you have a very good idea, but it doesn't work, because when it rains, it's going to melt. Nobody helped me. They said, I don't want to waste my energy, because if I help you now, when the rain comes, it's melt down. But after I finished the first building, many people built their house with mud like me. Now it's many thousand mud houses in Thailand. After that, when I have a first kid, many friends who have the kid in the same time, they need to prepare a lot of money for their kids to buy formula, to buy baby food for the kids. But I feel like, why we have to buy food for the kids? Because my wife has the best food for the kids already. So I decide to not give water or formula or baby food to my kids almost a year. No, 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 nothing from outside, only milk from my wife. Many people came and said, you're going to hurt your kid. you not love your kid. But what happened is now my son is 12 years old. He's taller than me. And he never go to a hospital. He never gets sick. But most of my friends who raise kids in the normal way, they have to go to the hospital almost every year. A lot of sickness. So I feel like there are many things wrong in the world right now. There are many easy ways that we can find, we can discover. And after that, I start to feel more confident in myself to be different. When I, did, when I do something different or I have some different idea, people say, you're crazy? I start to tell myself, it's not my problem, it's their problem. They can think whatever, but I need to be easy. I need to be relaxed. So now I feel like this is the real freedom. Freedom to do what you want to do. Freedom to do what you believe in. It's not easy to find this freedom. And now I enjoy to be different a lot. I feel like this is the, the special gift in my life, when my son is seven years old, he needs to go to the school. Many people have to work hard to make money to send their kid to school. I think there are so many knowledge, there's so many wisdom on this earth why we need to go to school. School is so narrow. So we decide to not send the kid to school. We do homeschooling. It's so easy. We don't need to take the kid to school every day. Don't need to pick him up every day. <clears throat> and the most important thing is 
we have a lot of fun to be together. I think this is the, the, the best gift in, in my life, just to be with family. We have time to be together, play to be together, and we learn. Out of school, there's a lot of things to learn. My son, he make cookie. Just make cookie. He learn science, he learn math, he learn business. He learn so many things from one cookie, and he has a lot of fun. And if he go to school, he have to learn what he don't like all the time. So it's not fun. So I feel like my son is so happy. I feel so relaxed that I, f I can design my life in the way I want it to be. Just be the way I want it to be. And now I have so many thinking different from normal people. But I don't think I'm abnormal. I think I'm very normal. Like now, many people working hard to make money. They save money for security. But I start to see different from many people. Money is not secure. Why we need to save money for security? I, I did not refuse money. I still work and use money as normal people. But I use money as a tool, like I use a knife. Why I think money is not secure? Because in my life, I see money has so many problems. Inflation is very fast. Like when I was a kid, one noodle, one bowl of noodle is one baht. One buffalo is 500 baht. One, the land, one plot of land, like one rye or one half an acre or something like that, 1,000 baht. So if I have 1,000 baht at that time, I become rich people in the village. But if I deposit that money in the bank, now I'm 52, 40 years ago, how much money I will have in the bank if I go withdraw money? Because in the bank book in Thailand, they said if you have money lower than 2,000 baht, they will take out your money to the, for the fee to keep your account every month. So the money is gone. Long time ago, I don't know. Even I'm rich people, I never use my money. Where did my money go? This is one thing that tells me that money is not security. Why I have to save money like many people? But in the same time, if I use that money to buy one piece of land at that, in the village, now the land in the village is 700,000 baht. So from 1,000 up to 700,000 baht. That's that's more secure. And in the same time, if I plant trees, one half an acre, you can plant more than 500 trees. 10 years, the tree is like this big. It costs 10,000 baht per one tree. But if it's 50 years, how big is it going to be? So that costs a lot of money. So that many thing. Natural resources is more secure than money. Why we need to save money? Why we don't save natural resources? So now, when I have money, I just buy land. Buy land and develop the soil. Make the soil good by no burning, no chemical on the, on the soil. The soil will be better and better, and be fertile soil. And then I start to save a lot of seed, a lot of plant in there. Underground, there's a lot of jam and taro. Roots, all kinds of roots on the ground. Above the ground, there's a lot of grass and vegetable and big trees and a good shade. So I think this is security in my life. Because whatever happened in the world, I'm okay. I have a fish pond, I have a lot of fish, I have 100 chicken, I have two cows for milk, 15 liters per day. If the economics collapse today, if the war happens now, many people have to be in the line asking for food. But I feel like I don't need to go. I have enough food here. If somebody comes to rob me, they maybe take some fruit, some chicken, or some cows away. But nobody knows where is the jam and taro or roots hiding because it's underground. This is security. So I feel like 
This is the real heaven. We, I can make a heaven, heaven to live on this earth. Thai people like to make a lot of merit, donate a lot of money, so when they die, they can go to be in the heaven. But I think they maybe cannot go to the heaven because when they die, they cannot bring cell phone with them. They have no GPS. They maybe lose the way. But why we need to die before we go to heaven? We build a heaven now and live in a heaven. We have food. We have good shade. We have good soil. We have good water. We have good family. This is more than heaven. Even people who live in the heaven still jealous me because in the heaven there's no trees, only crowds. Very hot. But here it's so nice and have a lot of fun. The kids running around and playing all day long. We have a lot of food to eat. To build heaven, everybody can do it. But to be rich, it's not everybody can do it, can be it. So why we choose to do something hard? So this is the way I think now. I feel like a, I think different from normal people, but I don't feel like I'm not normal. And now. I start to look at people, the whole world. Why people have to work so much? And everybody work hard, but not work for themselves. I can see many people in Thailand. They work very hard. They get money. But how many people who use their money from their hard work to buy organic food to feed themselves? Because the health, our health, is the most important thing in the world. When they go to the supermarket, they go to the farmer market. They see farmer sell rice, organic rice, 50 baht per kilo, and they think and think too expensive, and then they don't buy it. But when they go to the coffee shop, one cup of coffee shop, one cup of coffee, 150 baht. It's not food, but they pay without thinking. So, what are we working for now? We're working so hard. For what? For ourselves? No, we did not do anything for ourselves. All the work we do now, most of people work just to chain the natural resources into money. But not many people who work to create more natural resources for this earth. Think about how many million people in the world right now, and everybody work more than eight hours per day. But how much resources do we have on this earth now? Now we have nothing left. We have less than 50% of trees in the world. We dug up all the minerals and we use them up. The more we work, the more we ruin everything on this earth. Now the land become a dead soil. You cannot grow things easily anymore. Now the water, all the world, cannot drink anymore. We need to buy water to drink. The bottle of water is the indicator to tell us this is the biggest crisis in the world. We work too much until we ruin everything that feeds us. We have no good soil, no good water to drink, no tree, no animal. Thailand used to have more than 20,000 variety of rice, but now we have less than 200 varieties. We ruin everything. And everybody said, I'm working for my kid, more for my children. But what do we have for our kid to eat, to live? Is anybody think, ask their kid, do you like to eat money or you like to eat food? You like to drink water or you like to drink money? We don't have any resources left for them anymore because we work too much in the way that not for us. So I feel like uh, we need more new people, more new thinking. Different thinking is the thing that we need now because we go to the school. The school teaches us to learn the same thing, do the same thing, think the same thing. When everybody thinks that money is security, everybody starts to work hard to change the, all the resources into money. But not many people think different that we need to build more resources for this earth. So now, I think it's the time to start to think different. We need more people to think different. 
more different, more idea, is diversity of thinking. Diversity is security. Diversity is freedom. Diversity is happiness. No diversity is nothing. Whatever we think, just proud of yourself. We can be different. We can be different sex, different color, different religious, different idea, different thinking. That's the beauty. That's what we need. We need to be different. We don't need to be the same because we need security. We need diversity. We need sustainable way of living. Thank you. Thank you.